in a great mood today. <laughs> I think I don't have to go to work. <laughs> What's up girls? Welcome back to my channel. It's Wit here again with another video. So today I am back with another video. Okay, it's long overdue because this stuff came out like two weeks ago. And actually I got mine on time. I ordered mine on time. It, mine came like two weeks ago, but I'm just not doing the video. Listen, I had finals and I was going on vacation. And yeah, I'm back now so I can do the video for y'all. So I'm talking about the new Julius Place. This is their bronze um, rustic palette. They came out with like a whole bronze collection like this some glosses, some bronzers. I just got the palette and I got the bronzer. And then a day later, which kind of pissed me off, I'm like, Juvie's Place, y'all be offering free shipping for, you know, small baskets. So you could have released all this at the same time, so I had to pay for shipping twice. But you know, they came out with their blushed collection, which is this and some blushes, like an eyeshadow palette. And they came out with blushes. I just got the, um, the blush palette because I, I did not want any blushes. So yeah, these are the three items that I got. I'm gonna show you guys all of that today. You know, this is the look. I like the way it came out. I look good. I'm giving the girls what they need. I understood the assignment, period. But yeah, let me not ramble too much. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below which eye you like better, you know? Okay, because, you know, I know my favorite. But I wanna know what your favorite is, okay? And um, yeah, follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me. Okay, because I'll be posting over there. If y'all don't see me here, I'm probably posting over there, okay? But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so let us get started. As per usual, I already have my brows fully filled in. I use the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. And as per my eyes, I have been loving the Makeup Revolutionary Eyeshadow Base in the shade um, Medium. So these are the two palettes that we're gonna be using today. And I'm gonna first start off with the bronze palette. I'm gonna do one eye with one, and then I'm gonna do the other eye with the other. Let me show you guys real quick what they look like. So this is the bronzed one. And then this is the blushed palette and then also I will be because I also picked up the bronzer Oof. oh lord I got the bronzer and I got the shade dark I got the shade dark and this is what this one looks like so I'm going to be using all of that let us get started taking this Morphe brush I don't remember the number and it has rubbed off but I'm going to take this Morphe fluffy brush any blending brush you have and I'm first going to go into I'm gonna first take this shade and then I'm gonna go into this shade. So I'm gonna put that on our crease. I like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take that um, like orangey, mustardy, burnt looking shade and I'm just gonna put this in the crease as well too. Oh, you guys, okay, so you guys know I love me some Housewives and they finally released a trailer for Potomac. Thank the Lord because I'm sorry. As much as I love Atlanta, this past season, season 13, tragic, tragic. And Potomac looks promising. And I feel like Dr. Wendy with her four degrees might just redeem herself because I'm not gonna lie, I was liking her at first and then I like how she just kind of like, didn't even give Monique a chance. I get it, Candace was a friend that she brought you on, but like still like, I mean, I don't know. I just don't like how she just kind of like sided with them. It's just like, you weren't here for the past four or five years at this, beef has been going on between Giselle and Monique. So, you know, I just really kind of wish she would have like got to know both ladies well. But now it seems like she might, hmm, hmm. You, you see Giselle for what she is. But anyways, I'm gonna take this um, Luxie brush and I'm gonna go into this brown shade right here. And then Beverly Hills came back on. The first episode was a little slow, but um, it looks, it looks promising. So my only issue with these palettes is how light they are. And I am ten, like I'm I'm determined I'm not grabbing another palette. I'm just gonna use this and it's just gonna be like a wash of color at this point. But I'm just gonna put this here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and like blend this. It's just gonna be a soft eye look today. I'm not doing anything today but editing this video once I'm done filming it. And then I'm just going to take uh take this shade right here because it looks so pretty, and I'm gonna put this on my lid. Is my brush wet? Okay, so this is this eye look. I'm just gonna take this brush. I'm gonna go back into that orangey mustard shade and I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. Just kind of bring it up a little bit. Not bad. It's not something I would necessarily do, but, well, I kinda did, but I would, like if it wasn't for this video, I would not do a look like this. I definitely had a little bit something more, but you know, this actually could be cute for a little soft moment, you know? A little soft moment, you could do this. All right, so I'm gonna clean my brushes off and I'm gonna go ahead and do this palette on this eye. Oh! 
while I'm cleaning my brushes, y'all, Miss Portia. Miss Portia from Atlanta, child. I don't even, <sighs> girl. I can't wait to see season 14 because I'm trying to figure out these storylines. Like, I don't understand what Portia's doing. Mind you guys, I am a Portia fan, okay? I love me some Portia, but girl, I know you are not engaged to a man that is still married. I love Portia, but I wouldn't leave her. I wouldn't leave her around my man. I can say that right now. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't understand. I can't wait to see how this all unfolds though, because I gotta understand this the, the shenanigans that's going on. But anyways, I think I think the brushes are clean. I'm gonna take this palette now, and I'm first going to go into hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go into this shade first, and then I'm going to this one, and that's gonna be my outer crease. So, let's do it. Ooh, this is a pretty like rose color. Y'all, I have just not really been into buying makeup, which honestly, I am really happy about. Like, I'm really, really happy about that because I felt like last year it was just like, just constant buying. Like, I don't buy makeup like that anymore. I've been really into clothes, like, oh my goodness. Like, I'm trying to change up my style of clothing, or sorry, not clothing, but dressing. And I've been doing a lot of ordering online of clothes and stuff, like, that's what I'm into right now. Which, I don't feel so bad having that as a problem because you can utilize it more, it's clothes, you can wear it over and over, like, with eyeshadow and makeup, and granted, yes, you can with makeup, but like, eyeshadow, when you have so many palettes, it's like, you just, <sighs> It just doesn't make any sense anymore. Like that's where I'm at. I just feel like my collection doesn't even make any sense anymore. But I just I love it. But at the same time, I just don't want any more. Or I'm not actively trying to just buy unless I really want something. Which is good. It's good. Okay. This is this is cute. This is cute or whatever. Oh, and then if y'all see, I'm gonna get that. I will I do plan on buying that, depending on what it looks like on the inside. But Clarity Cosmetics is coming out with a new palette. They showed like they're waiting for their to finish up their pre-orders. But they have a new palette coming out and I'm gonna order it. Hopefully it does not come broken, but let me see something. I really, really love that brand's like formula, so it's like I will take that risk. Um going into the shade next to just kind of like deepen this up a little bit. Let's see what this looks like right here. Okay, so I was actually gonna think, I was thinking that this palette was gonna be more like mauve -y, but like, no, it's definitely rosy, pinky colors. Because I was like, what's the difference between this and their, I believe it's their, the moths. that's what it's called, the moths palette? But there's definitely a difference. This is definitely very rosy. Ookie dookie. And then taking, my Luxie brush, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Which kind of looks, does it look like the one from the bronze? Nope, this one definitely has a little bit more, I don't know, <laughs> they're different though. Ooh, that's a pretty color against like these shades. Oh, this is pretty, I like that color. I genuinely like this color a lot. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the pink is so different from the color that I'm putting here that you're seeing a difference. I feel like this eye, although it's a very pretty soft look, like throw some lashes on and everything, it'll look really pretty, like very soft. I love the contrast. Like I love to be able to see a contrast between like my outer V shade and like my um, crease shade. Oh, I like this a lot. That's a pretty color, okay. Y'all, so this past weekend I went to Miami and it's actually funny because like me and my friends we were like on Ocean Drive, well, you know, everyone's walking around pretty much in swimsuits half naked at this point. And I saw a lot of couples and I noticed that a lot of these girls were like literally holding on to their man for dear life. Like they acted like if they were to let go of this man, he was gonna take off running like pew, like just gone. Like I wouldn't want to travel with a significant other to Miami. And if I did, I'm not going to Ocean Drive. I'm not going where all them people, like, no, like, I mean, there's just so much temptation. Even for me, I, there's a lot of eye candy. I'm like, I'm staring, looking around like, ooh, hey, papi. That was my word this weekend. I was catcalling y'all. I sure wasn't. They sure was answering. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, girl, like, I would not go there with no man. Like, I want to do, like Megan said, I want to do hood rat shit with my hood rat friends. <laughs> You want hood rat shit? Hey, with my hood rat friends. Hey. Let me stop. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. All right. Next, I'm gonna take this shade right here, and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. This shade looks pretty too. 
but I want this color though. Ooh, that's a pretty color. It's a little, um, well, I'm blending it out now, but it definitely is a little, um, chunkier. Guess you can say, let me see how this looks. Yeah, it's a little chunky. You're gonna have to, like, kind of smooth it down. But all together, it's a pretty color, but definitely chunky. Okay, so these are the two eye looks. So, as per usual, I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna do the rest of my face, well, majority of my face. I'm gonna be back to show you guys the bronzer, like how it looks on my skin tone. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of that. Be back. I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like swatching these palettes. <laughs> but hey, but hey, I use four out of, four out of the six shades from each palette, okay? I'm gonna be very honest, I don't really feel like swatching these palettes, so don't come for me if you don't see swatches. <laughs> I'm just saying, but you know, there's other people who just watches. You can go on their Instagram page, you can see it all. I'm being very lazy right now, and to be honest, I really don't care. All right, so I'm back, y'all. Alrighty, so I am back. Back with the back with the back with the. Okay, so Julie's Place came out with five bronzers, and they have a pretty good little shade range here. And I got the second to the darkest one. This is the dark shade, and it looks like this. Did I get the second? Yeah, 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 I did. Okay. And um, what I'm gonna do first is, sorry y'all like, we're gonna use this brush. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna first go into this top shade right here and let's see how deep that is. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Perfect color for my skin tone. Let's go ahead and layer it here. So, I'm curious to see what the deeper side looks like. I don't think I would need to wear that on its own. I mean, I could, like, cause this is, this is building up pretty nicely. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this shade right here. I'm just gonna put a little bit here, just kinda see if there's a difference. But I don't wanna be walking around like, actually no, I really don't care. It's not going anywhere. I feel like initially, like looking at them, you don't really see a difference in the color. Like, I don't think so. But I feel like because this side is deeper, it kind of built up a little. How rude. My camera literally cut off on me. I said it was full. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, I feel like this side definitely built up easier, but honestly, they really look the same to me. So what I normally do is I just run my brush through both and that's how I use these. And that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of this side, but. This bronzer is definitely cute and I like it. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look and I like the way it came out, you guys. I like the little softness that it gave, you know, cause even though my eyeshadow is a little soft, you know, the lashes definitely, you know, the va va voom, the lashes gave just what it needs to give, you know, the eyeliner. So I like it, I actually really do like this. I would say, which, okay, which of the two eye looks is your favorite? I think personally, when I was doing the demo looks, like the when I was doing them, I liked this side better. But now that this is all done, I like the side better. I don't know if it's because it, it matches better with like the orange that I have on. Yeah. I mean, this side is cute, but I think this side is cuter. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so I really like the way that looks. Um, how much these? How much did I pay for these? I think I paid fifteen. I, I want to say I paid fifteen dollars. I think. Um, yeah, and then the bronzer, all this stuff is pretty cheap, like to be honest. I know I just spend more than $20 for each item. But um, yeah, so that's that with that. I would definitely recommend this. I know um, my video is pretty late, but you know, better late than never, right? Right. I'm in a great mood today. <laughs> I think it's not gonna work. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would highly recommend all of this stuff, okay? So, you know, you guys know I love me some Juvia's Place, okay? So check them out if you haven't already checked it out. I feel like this is definitely very everyday wearable. And I personally feel like the bronze palette is definitely like travel friendly, for sure. Like, I would wear this like as a look out. You know, it's, it's something. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.